Good evening and welcome to Plus Sport. Another interesting moment on the show today as we look at two important um, sportive, sporting events across um, the globe. One has been popular, as popular as the world itself, that's football, and the other one has to do with Cuban. Cuban is a sport that is just trying to get his, the momentum in Nigeria. First and foremost, I'll introduce the guest in the house, but we'll start with the guest um, um, online that's talking about um, the executive director um, Cuban Fun Club talking about um, Kemi Awe. But in, with me in the studio is um, Joseph Agu, who is a football coach. He will be talking about um, the Nigerian and uh, the Flamingos and Jamming match, that, the Under 17 World Cup in India. Thank you for coming, uh, Joseph Agu. Thank you for having me. Okay. So but, um, we'll not go straight with um, waiting for us online is Kemi Awe, Executive Director, Cuban Fun Club. It's good to have you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yet, um, I'm sure a lot of people are wondering what Cuban is all about. So let's start what um, Cuban is all about and why you decided to show so much interest in this sport. Okay, thank you very much. Um, Cuban is the art of solving the Rubik's Cube. This is the Rubik's Cube okay. within the shortest possible time. It's not so popular in Nigeria. But about eight years ago, we started going around schools and um, road shows to introduce the Rubik's Cube to people. I solved the Rubik's Cube when I was young. I played with this rather. I couldn't solve them. But about eight years ago, I started learning about it. When my son reintroduced it to us as a family, he used it actually in, um, in a mathematics camp. He went for a camp in Abuja. And um, it's one of the things that they use in teaching them math uh, it, uh, it, uh, mathematics. Um, the Rubik's Cube is not just a toy, as many people think it is. Okay. But rather, it is, um, it is a tool that is used in developing critical thinking and problem-solving skills. And um, about a few years ago, globally, okay. the art of speed-solving came about okay. and you know it became so popular in the western world that right now people solve it within maybe four seconds the world record holder Matt Park solved it in 4.86 seconds meanwhile when it was first invented by professor Eno Rubik um, he couldn't even solve what he created what he invented okay. until about a month after but now people solve it within the you just blink and you're there they have solved it okay In interesting how much as nigerian embrace this sport it seems it's still a sport that has to do with um, so much inculcation of um, an habit which is problem solving into nigerians how much as nigerians embrace this sport it is not so popular yet in nigeria i mean we want to we want every home to know somebody in every home to know how to solve the Rubik's Cube. But it's not yet so popular. Um, I don't want to see it as an elitist sport. Because of the attendant cost, um, not everybody can afford the cube, even though they are cheap ones. But not everybody can afford it. So I think that's why it's not so popular. And some people feel it's an elitist sport. No, it's not an elitist sport at all. It is meant for everybody who wants to develop, who wants to sharpen his or her intellect, who wants to exercise the brain. It's a mental sport, okay. just like chess. Now, now um, what are the challenges do you think you likely face in um, trying to make sure Nigerians get used to this sport? the foresee um, challenges? Um, it's because people tell me to be elitist. Some people even say it's only the highly intellectual people that can solve it. Um, but gradually, gradually, I'm sure it will spread. It might take time, but it will certainly spread. So now, um, so what do you think... Um, what year or time challenges um, duration are you giving that before the next four years, five years, Nigerians, um, it will become an habit of ours, this particular sport? 
within the next five years, within the next five years, I am certain that most Nigerians, let's say 75% of Nigerians would have known about Cuban hmm. or speed Cuban. Okay. Now, last because in the north, right now, I'm surprised that in the north, there's, we have a large community of Cubans in the north, hmm. in the northern part of, 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 of the country, especially Kano. So, so where, where do you think they got that, got that from, since it is not from um, you or from other stakeholders? Where do you think the Northerners, especially those in Kano, got that um, habit of Cuban from? I know we've been to a few schools in Abuja. We have not been to Kano yet. But I know um, National Mathematics Center in Abuja also organizes um, um, training, training in, in Cuban, in solving the cube. They don't organize in, tra in training them how to speed solve, but just to use it as a mathematics tool. That's what National Mathematics Center is doing. Okay. So I think it's from there that the, those in Kano actually got their, their interest from. Okay, La two questions in one for our last question. Tell us about the, just concluded, 2022 Nigerian Cuban Championship. Okay. Um, Nigeria Championship 2022, we had it just this past weekend, 7th and 8th of October. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a two in one competition. Okay. One is the official World Cube Association competition, and the other part is the experience the cube inter-school cubing competition. We actually started comp competition uh, in Nigeria with the experience the Rubik's Cube inter-school competition, whereby we get schools from various parts of the country to come together to have fun and solve as well and win things. So we had the sixth um, edition together with the official World Cube Association competition. And at the World Cube Association competition, we had Emmanuel Hawkins coming tops and followed by Felix, Felix Madubuko, okay. and then Oluleke Oke John came third. Um, I don't have the, the time within which they saw in my fingertips, okay. but you know, they came in that order. If you check the WCA website, you will see their ranking. Okay. And then for the inter, okay. Yes. Yeah, uh, go, go on, go on. For the inter school, for the inter school, we had um, West Spring College coming tops. In the inter school, five students solved 25 cubes within the shortest possible time. Interesting. So we had a uh, West Spring College coming first, and um, King's College Lagos came second, and Supreme Education Foundation came third. Okay. Uh, in the inter-school competition. Interesting. Uh, it's, our hope, it's our hope that uh, Emmanuel, the first three in the WCA competition, will represent Nigeria, hopefully, to get sponsored um, in the Oceania Championship, World Championship, coming up in December. Okay. Lastly, lastly... In Australia. Okay. Yes. Last, my last question, which was supposed to be among the questions I asked you earlier. Um... What must I have? Is there any inbuilt ability I need to possess for me to be a Cuba? For you to be a Cuba, you must, you must be determined. Okay. Because when you start off learning, it could be frustrating. But that is why it teaches patience. It teaches perseverance. You need to have that I can do it spirit mm -hmm. in order to excel. If a three-year-old, what I used to tell my students is that if a three-year-old can solve the cube, what stops you from solving it? Hmm. And they actually watch videos of three-year-olds, of even two-year-olds solving the cube. Okay. So if somebody can solve it blindfolded, what stops me from solving it? It's just a matter of determination. If you have that, yes, I can do it spirit, then you will succeed. And also, it helps with your memorization. Mm. You have to memorize the algorithms that you, know, that you use in solving it. So that's why it helps with mem memorization. It helps with the coordination of the eyes and the hands. It has so many benefits. 
Okay. Um, for if you are determined, you can achieve it. Okay. Unfortunately, your response made me want to ask one more question. Your response means that if I don't have fled for mathematics, I'll probably not be a Cuba. Am I right? If you want, I didn't get if that. If I don't please. have flair for mathematics, for maths, I might still... You, you still can. That is why the, the notion that it's only geniuses that can solve it is, is wrong. Okay. It's very, very wrong. Anybody and everybody can solve it once you're determined. Okay. You. And you must have an open mind. That yes, this thing, I'm not going to... I mean, I'm not going to allow you to conquer me. Okay. Just apply it to life. In life, you, you are faced with a challenge. You just break it down into pieces and begin to solve your problem one after the other. You don't tackle the problem headlong at once, but you relax, you break down your, your, your problem into chewable pieces, I used to say, and you know, tackle one after the other. Before you know it, you have solved your problem. And so it is with the Rubik's Cube. Thank you very much, um, Kemi Awe. It's nice um, having you on the show. Uh, in a um, subsequent edition, definitely we'll be bringing you to tell us more about Kiwin. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Yes, um, that is Kemi Awe, Executive Director of Cuban Fun Club. She uh, one of um, those uh, pioneer Cuban in the country. I'm sure when we talk more about Cuban, the next um, sub subsequent edition of the program, you will know what Cuban is all about. <laughs>